Tensions between the Rat Cult and Four's Awkward have reached a breaking point. Steven and Summer trapped them and claimed GG. Yes, much talent. Very good. Something. That dude's stuck. Oh, we've got all his gear. Oh, he just killed himself. Fascinating. This is my gear now. Do you have it all? Yeah, I got it all. Good fight. GG, guys. Yeah, you guys totes won that. Totally. They responded by destroying the trap base with the trebuchet from the safety of their base. Steven returned, built a new, more elaborate trap base, and is now stalking their leader, Monix, as he upgrades their base. If he can land the perfect shot, then he can knock Monix from his perch. And if that doesn't get him to react, then nothing will. The Rat Cult is prepared for war, are they? <laughs> Steven runs home to quickly respec into an archer build. Bestial memory. Okay, so we need flattening shot. Got it. He returns to the forest awkward castle and searches for a place to ambush Monix, but he's detected. They exchange shots and Steven tries to lead him to his trap base, but Monix doesn't take the bait. Steven has to find a way to anger Monix beyond reason, and he's about to do it. He sees where I'm going. Maybe he'll investigate. Maybe he'll investigate. I don't know. Let's see. See if he comes. And now we wait. He did seem somewhat eager to engage in PvP. They were really eager when there was a bunch of them. Steven waits, but Monix never comes out. Apparently when it's not 4v2, then Monix doesn't want to engage. No worries, Steven isn't deterred. Everyone has a breaking point. Monix pauses briefly to return fire at Steven. Big mistake. Steven lands possibly the greasiest shot in Conan Exiles history, and Monix dies from the fall. Oh my god, I actually did it! I actually- God, I'm no way! No way, dude. It actually worked. No way, man! And I'm gonna be over-encumbered. He swipes the loot and slow walks away as quickly as possible. Monix will be back. Alright, Steven. You've got a death wish. And just like that, Monix's resolve is broken. I need to hide. What a shot, dude! It actually worked. Wow, man. Oh, I've got explosive arrows. Oh my god. Oh my god, I do have his bow. No way that actually worked. No way, dude. My hands are shaking, my hands are shaking. But I'm still landing headshots. We're good. There's no time to relish in Steven's exquisite aim. Phase 2 begins now. Monix follows Steven all the way back to the trap base. Oop. Uh-oh. He's after me. I'm running back to the trap base. He's chasing me, he's got the high ground. Okay, I'm going into the trap base. Steven must be careful not to scare him off. Oh, he's got a throw on a horse. I've got to get him to come in. He's hiding behind a rock. Pro tip, present enough defense to seem credible, but not enough to seem competent. I'm gonna let him hit me. I'm gonna act like I'm hurt. He's gotta have enough confidence to come in. I'm gonna let him hit me again. I jacked him up. That actually might be bad. Oh, he just full healed. Oh my goodness, come in, you won't. Steven presents Monix with a truce. Not really, but you know. Nah, you're done. Uh oh, he's mad. He's blowing his little horn at me. I see him. He's blowing these horns every time he sees me. He's like fully bought into the roleplay. Steven removes his gas mask and allows himself to be hit. He needs to appear weak. Very weak. I love it. It's awesome. No, please. Please don't kill me. No. trying to entice him back out. I made a mistake of almost killing him earlier. I don't want to kill him. At least not that way. I want to trap him and then kill him. I just heard a trebuchet. Yeah. I think he's launching trebuchets. Is he seriously trying to line a trebuchet at me? Wait. No way. He's trying to shoot a trebuchet from his majestic castle at my sandstone little trap base that he can't even damage right now. It's sandstone. It takes one bomb. Insane. I might sneak in and blow his horns. Make him real mad. Oh, here comes the trebuchet. Ooh, 
That was real close. That landed right next to my front door. Truce. You're on the kill list, Steven. You're on the kill list, Steven, and then he blew his war horn. Truce? Monix continues to rain down trebuchet boulders and gas arrows. Steven won't give up. It's been a while since his last appearance, but Steven calls in the mysterious stranger to help with the trap. Oh, hey, what's up? Here's aloe potions in this chest if you need it, some tools if you need it, and there's a gas mask. In case he starts gassing us. I've got to get him to come over instead of him just sitting there till raid time, which is the lamest move he could possibly do. <laughs> He's attacking me. He's coming after me. Oh god, Ugh. he's on the base. Uh, hello? All he has to do is jump on the roof. Monix is trapped. He's in Steven's world now. Ooh. This is where it gets hard. He's kind of nervous. He's not coming in. You're a strange little person. Who's he calling a strange little person? This bald little rat looking man? And 100% dead at 8. Hello? Please leave. IFK reporting to admin. Please stop and leave. Fortniteing is bannable. You attacked me. You trapped me in your base and my allies before that. It's okay. Easy to report. You attacked me both times. AFK how? What? Monix laughing my butt off. What does he even mean? I can easily wait until my allies wipe you and this base lol. So he says he can wait. Raid time's off for three hours. Have fun waiting. IDK I'm getting Karen vibes. Was talking to this noob. What do you mean AFK reporting to admin? Sorry. Wasn't talking to you. My bad. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. My bad. All oh, cap. Usually, I don't have the siege cauldrons, but we did trap a guy in here, and he somehow glitched out. Yeah. He got out. He got what? He got out. So I put all four now to just make sure that he can't, like, get out. <laughs> Steven is enjoying the conversation, but he'd really like for Monix to accept his fate and move further down the hallway to complete the sacrifice. Just come out, man. Accept your fate. Everyone else accepts it. Just accept it. Do you want to be friends? We can have a truce. Okay, I'm leaving now. If you want to be let out, just let me know. I say, please accept your fate. He says in global, Go back to Fall Night, you lamb child. He's so lame. Can he just come out? Are you a child? <laughs> Oh, this is good. This is so good. If we reset and we can rejoin the server before he does, we can loot his stuff. And then he'll have to come out because he'll have nothing to lose. Oh, this is good. This is good. He says, God, you're sad, Lemao. Lemao. Steven is a sad sack of a player. Imagine operating a keyboard with no spine. Rude. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Mad? I don't get mad at lower life forms. Just pity. You killing me in a fair fight would make me mad. This just makes me ruffle at how lame you are. Fortnite thing is banned. I've never played Fortnite. Do you mind if I use your map room real quick? Monix refuses to leave his corner and he is too proud to die to a rat. So he tries to despawn his gear. Relax. Hiya! Release me now and we won't destroy you. Laughing my butt off. You can always pull your bracelet. We give a shit about the loot. Same. I thought you didn't. Liar. I'm trying to despawn his stuff. Uh. 
The clock is ticking. Steven needs to force him out of his hole. Steven finally gets Monix to move. But he pulls a big whoopsie. Whoa. Close it, close it! Oh fuck. Oh god! He dashes through the open door before Steven and the mysterious stranger have a chance to close it. This isn't good, however, there's still no escape for him. Steven will collect his skull one way or the other. I got all the stuff back, and now he's locked in. Again. I got all the stuff back. This is the lame thing I've ever witnessed in this game. Should try playing the game properly. GG, you're a worthy foe. Can we be friends after this? Avabu 500 bombs for you at 8. How do you farm bombs? See ya at 8. Can we team? Yeah, your mother. Monix was too stubborn to submit to a siege cauldron sacrifice. Now he lies still and lifeless. No more shouting and global chat. No more poison gas. And rats will feast on his remains. This dude logged out. Wow. Steven still yearns for another siege cauldron sacrifice. He will get his sacrifice. Baldrick willing. Monix may have taken the easy way out, but the cult isn't finished with him and his clan. Steven knows that Monix and his clan will raid this base as soon as they get the chance, so he will leave a gift for them. He takes his inspiration from way back, when the boys, the boys, raided a tower. A tower of salt. Inside of their base right now. Salt. 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 Why is there salt in all these stables? They have salt in their wheels of pain too. Alright, front door is open. What's going on inside? There's a chest with salt in it, and then... <laughs> And then another door blew in the ceiling. What does it look like in there? A bunch of salt chests. <laughs> nah. -uh. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, there's salt in everything. <laughs> we are one minute away from raid time. In any minute now, four is awkward. They'll log on. They'll get their explosives. They'll take the elevator across. They'll take their steps down or whatever they have. They'll take an elevator across again. And then they'll make their way over to my base to blow it up. Only thing is, I'm gonna shoot them off this elevator, take their explosives. Okay, things are about to get juicy. Both Blinding Tooth and Monix are on. They're going elevator or front door? Elevator? Oh god. <gasps> oh, I'm so loud. Lay down. Steven, you're so loud, man. I'm not gonna try to hit him up there. My best chance is when they're on the lower one. Horns and drums sound from the rooftop. Monix and his boys are working themselves into a frenzy. He loves that horn. He loves it. This is a good spot. Man, what are these guys doing? Still blowing it. The war drums. Steven remains patient. He knows his plan will work. He understands Monix, his thoughts and dreams, fears and secrets. He's inside Monix's head. Surprise, Steven's here. Oh, that's it. I think they're blowing into my base right now. Check the event log. Uh, yep. It went in through the wall. Let's see what they find. There should be one more explosion. Oh, there's another one. Oh, another explosion. They destroyed the first door. I see him. He ran up on the hill. I might have to move. He could see my health bar. Steven, your manly chest is blocking my view. They're launching trebuchets now. They're actually hitting my base with trebuchets. That's crazy. These dudes are nuts, man. There it goes. Monix is a savage. He's next level. Next level. Dude, I can't wait to shoot him off this elevator. See that little hole right there? That's Steven's rat hole. He lives in that hole. They're still firing. You see that shadow? It looks like a face and then there's like a granny finger pointing. It's like a granny pointing at something. What are you pointing at, granny? What are you trying to tell me? more siege boulders are coming. It's such a small target, their explosives probably did most of the work, and now they're just shooting siege boulders, which it's good for large targets, it's not good for that precision accuracy. I don't know what these guys are doing. 
Uh oh. Uh oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh god. There's no way he sees me. And if he saw me, that's dumb. Come on, you guys won't. You guys won't. The siege borders are still going, dude. Oh my god, yes. I just got up. I just walked away. Couldn't see the screen because all they're doing is trebbing. They finally, after all this time, they reached my salt. That's so cool. Lightning tooth in the comments. Fuck, you're salty. Monix, touche. Why don't you bring your half-naked ass to our base? I'm already at it. I'm already at the base. They don't know. I'll take that salt and stick it in your mother's badge. Oh my god, dude. I'm already here, bro. You just don't even know. I'll eat that shit off a cheeseburger. Dude, I love it. If I can kill this guy, I might just quit Conan. There will be no other achievement I can do than stealth kill him with an arrow off his own elevator as he's talking shit to me. What else can you do in Conan that could ever reach that level? Machiavelli, that's our um, friend from BH Industries. Machiavelli just followed me into the fish trap. Poor darling. Oh. You speaking to me? Excuse me? Man, this is awesome. I love these guys. I hope that we can be friends after this. There's so much pressure to make this shot now. There's so much pressure. I might actually get down to get stamina, because if I mess it up, I'm going to need a bunch of stamina to run. So this is what's going to look like. They're going to call it, go across. I'm going to go like this. Boom. I swear to God, the next base I see. You are going to salt it. You will see. I think big old Monix is chilling in the base, just covering Blinding Tooth with his trebuchet from his castle roof while Blinding Tooth goes and blows up my T1 little trap base and gets mad about the salt that I left him. Please, give me the opportunity to shoot you. Please, oh god. He's beating them drums again. Those boys are getting worked up. Monix, if you ever watch this video, bro, I just want you to know that I got love for you, dog, and we should team up sometime. Word to your mother. The elevator's gone, right? He's on it. Oh my god, this is it. This is it, this is it, oh my god. Oh my god, here it comes. Okay, Steven, this is everything right now. My hands are shaking, my hands are shaking. I wish I had a better bow and better arrows. Here it is. The trap, the salt, and now for the perfect shot. Steven draws back, aims, fires. Bullseye. I think I killed him. I didn't kill him! Oh my god, I got him though. I got him. Oh my god, I love it. Nice job, Steven, but that fall didn't kill him. That fall did not kill him. I love it so much. Steven, you dog. Ooh, okay. Oh wow, there's someone covering me from the roof. Are you for real? Oh, if only it killed him. Okay, so I'm not gonna quit because he didn't die, but... That was amazing. Okay, I don't actually have a... Oh my god, Steven. I don't have my gas mask on me right now, so I can't really do too much. How far are they shooting? Oh, he's right there. Uh-oh, the boys are coming on the horses. Steven loves it in the trees. If Steven wasn't a rat, he'd be a squirrel, which is kind of like a rat. His plan was perfect. His execution was nearly flawless. Years of scurrying through gutters prepared him for this very moment. And now he's going to attempt to solo raid them. Steven hears an explosion. Strange. He watches from afar, but then tiny feet shuffle behind and he's attacked. But this isn't Monix and his clan. It's someone else. Steven's not alone. His rat instincts take over and he runs. Steven can run for days. Uh, hello? I have way more stamina than you. You will never catch me. I don't think that's them. I think they're getting raided. He loses his attacker. In Global, Monix confirms that they're being attacked by Johnny Chimpo and his clan, the Loot Monkeys. Whoa. Be tried by Wukong. Steven offers moral support. I can be your friend, Monix. You'll never have a friend, Steven. Monix, I thought we were buddies. I think they're getting raided though. Technically, Steven was attacking first, so loot monkeys are countering his raid. But even though Steven is a rat, he won't rat them to the admin like others have done. Oh, this is getting good. Instead, he does the only thing that makes sense in this situation. 
He's going to help Monix defend his base. White Knight Rat Steven has arrived. Oh my goodness, you think I could knock him off? Oh my god, he fell. He fell, dude, what a bum. Wow, what arrow drop. What are these shots, Steven? What are these shots? He's still blowing that war horn. Man, imagine if I could knock one of these dudes off. Steven's in the bush. Steven doesn't have many arrows, 23. Four is awkward. What are you guys doing up here in a, with a tree fort? Hey. If there's chests up here, I'm going back getting bombs right now and I'm blowing this. You have more stat buffs than we have people. Excuses. What the frick do you want? Try harder, please. Only weakness detected so far. It's then when Steven realizes something horrible. Because loot monkeys attacked at nearly the same time as Steven, Four's Awkward probably thinks it was the loot monkeys that shot them off the elevator, not Steven. This is horrible. Truth and order must be reestablished immediately. Steven moves in. He's not going to sit idly by and let someone else take credit for his perfect plan. Has counter raided my raid. Too fast, boys. Too fast. Oh god. Now they're on horseback. Now they're. I'm not too fast. They give chase to Steven again, but this time they're determined to snuff him out. Steven ducks and dives. He scrambles up and down ledges. He varies walking and sprinting to save his stamina. Now two of them are here. Not good. Uh -oh. At the very least, this will give Boris Awkward some breathing room. Get your shit together, Monix, and defend your base. Did I stop the whole raid from happening? Yo, chill, homie. Chill, homie. Get some stamina back. I'm not sure where I'm going. They realize they're no match for Steven on foot, so they hop back on their mounts. Yeah. Steven runs and runs. He's doing this for Monix. Surely Monix will be grateful when he learns of Steven's selfless deeds. Oh. Yo, chill, please. Fuck you, bitch. Nah, fuck you, bitch. The bright joy of slaying. You ain't got shit, bitch. Little bitch. Got you, bitch. Little bitch. <laughs> Steven needs to get geared and get back into action quick. I'm back. He hears Loot Monkey's bombs tearing through their base. Not today, Steve. Monix, I saved you. <laughs> Steven, you're a psychopath. Steven, you're a psychopath. Come on, Steven. Pick, pick, pick. We need resources. We need health. We need to get back in the fight. I'm gonna make a little base. They're probably just gonna gas me and kill me. But at least it'll give me something to run to. Oh, imagine if I could put it up on a rock. That'd be good.
Okay, there we go. He quickly builds the Rat Sniper Tower. This will serve as a place to stash loot and respawn. It'll also play a key role in a future conflict. All right, let's get to work, Steven. Steven's going in. Oh, jeez. Steven's losing health. Steven spots yellow loot monkey apes hanging from the castle. If he can land an easy shot, he can knock them off. I should have waited. That was so dumb. That was so dumb. Steven proceeds to miss every shot. Oh, I missed the good shots. Finally, he lands one. The force of the arrow breaks their grip and knocks them off the ledge. Oh, nailed him. Yeah, suck it, gay boys. Oh, man, Steven is dynamic. He's such a dynamic force. On one hand, he's trapping Monix, taking stuff. On the other hand, he's defending him. Oh, that would have been a money shot. I don't think they're coming after me again. How many are there? There's a decent <gasps> number of them. I'm gonna have to charge Monix for this raid defense. This is going to cost him. This won't be free. Steven transforms into a raid defense machine. He can't miss. Oh, in the face. Dude, Steven's putting in work. Probably not the smartest move. They seem like the type of dudes that would hunt you down. Look at Steven's little rat sniper tower. Dude, that was quiet. Nice job, Steven. <laughs> Steven, shush. The whole group's chilling right there. I spent so much time at this base. It kind of feels like my base. I feel like I'm being attacked. Monix doesn't know it yet, but we're friends, buddy. Don't move, Steven. It's getting dangerous for you. Uh, what? Monix, get off the trebuchet and defend your base. What are you doing? Steven's cover is finally blown. Oh god, here we go. The great chase. Someone just die? Uh. <laughs> Monix has lost his mind. He's just aimlessly firing his trebuchet. There is a dead body there. I will try to get it. Oh, there he is. Steven scoops up another gear set for Monix. Thanks, boys. But he's quickly spotted. Hey, Monix, I just got your gear again. Oh, God. Getting that loot, boy. I need to go make a stash. Oh, I love the median. It's my favorite. Thanks, Monix. Yeah, I'll make a set of tools, an extra bow, and that gear. So if I die, I can just get right back in it. Oh, rip horse. Wow. Put half the stack of arrows, put a bow. Oh, I got razor arrows, no way. Hell yeah. Dude, I love Steven's little sniper tower. That's sick. Monix, get wrecked. Is that a body? Dude, I'm going in for the body so quick. Blinding Tooth, the exile that was enraged over Steven's use of salt, lies dead. We're out. Blinding Tooth, thank you very much, boys. Oh, I got poison arrows. Don't come over here, horses. Uh-oh. Exiles in yellow headed his way. Steven doesn't want them to blow into the rat sniper tower, so he bails over the side. They're looking for me. Who's there? huge victory for loot monkeys. They celebrate over Steven's ratty corpse. Steven respawns and watches as they depart at the map room. I should have fought him from there. I should have fought him from there. I know I have inventory, I just can't see it. He mops up any remaining loot and then celebrates with his friends over their successful defense. He waits outside but they ignore him. He blows the horn to get their attention. 
So the raid never ended because I haven't left. I was the first raider, so they rebuilt during raid. Who's the cheater now, Monix? Who's the cheater now? Uh, hello? You guys owe me? For the siege defense? Is that even Steven? I assisted with your siege defense. How so? I fought off the monkeys on multiple occasions. I was a valuable ally. Oh, please tell me someone just died. Oh my god, if he takes the elevator, do I shoot him? No way, right? Should I do it? No. No. I shouldn't do it, but I could do it. Okay, so friends now? Please say no. Please say no. Wait, no, what are you guys doing? Excuse me, if they take another shot at that. That's got loot, that's got their loot in it. Please stop trapping my base. That isn't a base, that's a shit pit. Oh wow, okay. Dude, I gotta get these guys so bad. I love how he's speeding up now. He's speeding it up. Somehow he's more angry at me than the raiders. So Monix is sitting on his trebuchet, trebbing my little sandstone shack, while the rest of his clan runs around and tries to repair the damage from the raid that just happened less than 15 minutes ago, mind you. So they are violating the rules. No big deal though, I guess. Maybe I go make that permanent. Oh wow, that was a direct hit. Oh, it's Blinding Tooth. That's my boy. I feel betrayed. Oh, wow, explosives on my rat sniper nest. No! <gasps> no! Not my gear sets that I stole from them. Fuck off my land, bitch. Oh my, man, these guys are gonna be my best friends. Is that the loot? That's the loot right there. Oh, oh, we saved it. If these guys think that's the end of Steven, well, they're wrong. I'll be back, boys. Steven went from a trapping villain to a counter-raiding hero and straight back to an annoying villain. Four is awkward made clear their disdain for Steven. No worries, Steven is a multifaceted rat. If they want a villain, then Steven will gladly oblige them. At this point, Steven wanders off and he and Summer find themselves at war with a new enemy. They even become slaves. But this story deserves its own chapter. Instead, we skip ahead a week. When we resume, Steven and Summer are back home in the rat mansion and things get chaotic once again. I'm punching some guy on a horse. Uh -oh. It was a man. Their neighborhood is never in need of drama, as the exile on horseback attacks Summer. He killed me. Leon Grave from the Argonauts. Never heard of him, but I hate them. Is it really cool? I'm behind you. You look a bit aggressive. Oh, thank you. Oh, is this my weeb sword? Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm not actually a weeb in real life, right? If you spell applesauce with just A, you can go ah. Uh, I can see you don't like applesauce. Leon Grave is a productive member of the community. It doesn't take long for Steven to find his house. The cult has their eye on you, Leon Grave of the Argonauts. I thought you'd be excited. I am excited. I'm very excited. Can someone give me gear, please? I can only give it to you in your body. When you're dead. That's good enough for me. Oh, he's back. His horse is right there. Leon, wanna role play RE4 with me? You can be Leon. I'll be the president's daughter. Leon, help me. I will crouch when you tell me to. Oh, oh my god, I see someone coming. Is it you? Are you attacking a big uh, bug? What are all those white chess pieces up front? The white chess pieces. Oh yeah, I've made like a really cool pathway. You should see it. Whoa, Leon's staring. Oh my god, he's, he's role playing with me. Holy shit. I take my dogs out to shit, then come back to this shit. What the shit? It's all happening at the spiders now. Steven and Summer roam south of the sinkhole and encounter an exile. His thrall swings a large sword. It's time to rumble. Drums, poxy ball. He's on me. He's got a berserker. Oh, bring him back to the house. The trap base near the your spider. Death will be as meaningless as your life. It's shenanigans. I just hit him with a one flint hit arrow. Someone else is trying to shoot me with arrows. It's probably me. Oh, he's friendly? No one's friendly. 
Ow. Oh, wow. I'm really getting attacked by this fucking spider, man. They're so relentless. Die outside of meaningless is your life. All of his friends are here. Run to the trap base. They're all here. He set us up. Simmerian Berserkers. Oh my god. Kill him. He's almost dead. Stay on him. Your death will be as meaningless as your life. Hit him, he's at 17. Thrall is killing me. Shit, there are friends here. Got him. Summer finishes off shenanigans. Let's work. Alright, back to the trap base. Steven scoops up the loot. Will I go on top of the base? And they prepare to engage with his clanmate, Coxwago McThunderfuck. It should be a fun scrap. <sighs> Minus a few stray arrows, Summers and Steven's teamwork is really improving. All's well until a horse charges into the fray. Horse! Yeah, there's a horse here. Far out. Poisoned. Everything. Ugh. I just I blasted that dude in the face for you. Did you really? Yeah, knocked him over. Thank you so much. Alright, I'm returning right now. Here I am, here I am. I'm gonna go punch his ass. Friddle. Friddle is a horrible man. Friddle's coming back? Yeah, Friddle's here, run. Oh, <laughs> I knocked him over. <laughs> yes. Got yes. Him. <laughs> Pretty it, sure. His thrall's name is Diddle. He's just gonna leave because he knows. He knows. That sucks, like of course Friddle shows up. I think we could have taken the other guy. Oh look, someone killed the giant spider. Run up and harvest the spider real quick. I don't have any tools, holy shit, can I punch it to death? I was killed by Beastmaster Teemos. Um. Oh nice. Look how we're holding hands though, can you see that? Is that cybering? I think so. I think that's what cyber sex is. How unlucky for these two guys. He ran right in the Friddle. <laughs> that's hilarious i feel really powerful in this outfit look at me they're in the clan psycho we literally have so many enemies calling out coxwago for his body because we're, we were hugging we were holding hands in our death it sounds like you're gloating over taking his loot it does kind of doesn't it i think you're the only one that would look at those two bodies and think cyber i i didn't say that you said that we were holding hands it was innocent yeah it was really innocent. The cult handily dealt with shenanigans and Coxwago of Clan Psycho, but it won't be the last time these clans will collide. Psycho will seek revenge. But for now, Steven goes scouting and finds a large base. He searches for its rat hole. <gasps> wow, I that. First I thought maybe these guys were hit, but it looks like uh, their base is intact. I saw some bodies logged off in the courtyard. I might go check them out if I can get in. This fast elevator? Doesn't seem very fast. Steven sniffs out the rat hole and slips inside. This clan is called Fetus Deletus. <gasps> and that should be in. <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? <gasps> This is my chair now. This is my horn now. Oh, yes. So you can blow the horn, but you can't hit the gong. Alright. Still my gong, though. And a map room around back. Sweet. Steven has big plans for this clan, but little does he know, things will prove more challenging than he expects. I was going to head back to base, but I figure I might as well go into the jungle. So I'll go kill a bunch of birds. I'll go harvest a bunch of mushrooms, and then we'll head our way back to base, and I'll have just a ton of farm on me. I just remembered that this base over here, the one that we built to trap our good friends, BH Industries. Guys, so we friends? Nah, bro. Why are we friends? You just telling, you keep grieving, you keep doing shit. No, we're not friends, bro. So I think I got pretty jacked up over there. This is where we have their Silent Legion kit. 
BH Industries was never seen again. It's like we found the main base of our good friends, super peaceful. Get inside, what are you doing? What are I you doing? Scared. Oh shit, I forgot. And she's free. Oh she's free. my god, One what was there. that? What were you doing? Oh. I'm sorry. Looks like they've been up to some dark arts in here. Super Peaceful was never seen again. As old enemies fade into that dark void, annihilated by the wheel of time, new ones step into the light. The road ahead is filled with obstacles. The cult will overcome. BH Industries may be gone, but their memory lives on as Steven dresses Betsy in their armor. Decided to build a perimeter wall. It's just out of flotsam, so nothing heavy duty, but it will at least discourage people from coming down here and jumping in because they won't be able to get out. Instead of doing right angle corners, I'm using these wedges to turn it at a different angle. And I think that's pretty cool. If you're not aesthetic, you ain't shit. Steven steps out onto his balcony. Somebody is standing there, watching. How creepy is that? Placing these vaulted ceilings here and then placing fencing on top. I built this little structure here to block people from jumping over. It's not a huge deal if they get in the courtyard, it's just uh, I don't want to be caught thinking I'm safe, but really I'm not. It's that time again, raid time. Once more, the cult will crawl their way out of the rat mansion and descend upon the unworthy, the unclean. Barriers that must be removed to reach rat nirvana. <laughs> Oh, wow. I literally spammed, like, statues all over that hill. I've got building supplies, too, so we can build, like, a tier 3 raid base if we have to. I always feel like I'm taller than you. Look how tiny you are. You're like a little, a little tiny man. It's been over a week since Steven has interacted with Monix and his clan, Four is Awkward. But apparently, Steven and the cult are fresh in his mind because they begin destroying the rat slave base immediately after raiding starts. Four is Awkward is demolishing all of our sandstone stuff around their base. It's just funny how they keep destroying it over and over. And it's been over a week since I last interacted with them and they're still upset about it. Hey guys, how about you go do a real raid? Because now this is just going to make me want to come back and build even bigger. To top things off, Monix doesn't shy away from his intentions. It's Abu sending a message. It's raid time. If we're gonna do a sweep of the area, get rid of all our neighbors because this is our land now. This guy killed Summer um, earlier this week. He killed me. Leon Grave from the Argonauts. And now we are going to pay him a visit. Oh my god. Dude, that scared me so bad. So bad. Halt! In the name of Set! Oh! oh, hey, guy. You're so late. I started raiding. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm coming. I think we killed his body. It looks like he might actually have some loot as well. I'm gonna get another thrall so we can speed this up. <laughs> Got it. I that glory in your death. I will cut your heart out. They killed one thrall. Beautiful. Ooh, what's this? He's got some T4s. Beautiful. Ooh, nice gear. Oh, nice. so many steel reinforcements. Blacksmith. Upstairs is the horse and the animal pen. Look at all the star. Where's that thrall that we killed? Oh, nice. The Yamatai set. Yeah, there are some really cool things here. That looks so cool. Got something for you? Oh, really? Oh, wow. Thank you. 
We've got fat loot. Ooh. There, a dyer's bench. What do you think about all this insulated wood? Uh, nah. Nah? Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Okay, not bad, first raid. Thanks, boys. And don't oh. come back. Leon was dealt with. Summer gets revenge. He won't be bothering her again. Four is awkward. It's still destroying our stuff. That's crazy. Next up is a treehouse that was built too close to the rat mansion. It must go. I'm headed over to the treehouse, where are you? Treehouse base time. Let's go. Hopefully they can't hear that from the map room. We have to figure out how to get up there. There should be a spot I can just place a bomb. Just have to find it. Man, they've really gone to an effort. Yeah, found it. Alright, three, two, one. I'm getting scared right now. Someone's gotta come by and check our base. They probably do check it once we're up on the roof here. <gasps> Good catch. I knew I brought you for a reason. I can be useful sometimes. I'll probably just have to take this to the face. Oh, I think there's an opening there. I'm in. You're in? Did you just say you're in? No, I said you're in. Here's his body. Oh. oh. Fat can of dip. Dude, this is my boy. Run. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Four's awkward is still blowing up our stuff. I don't know why. He's just so angry. He got so angry because he lost multiple gear sets to us. So what, he just has a whole bunch of honey. Is it worth it to keep going up? It's probably not worth it, but it'd be fun. Please don't jump on my head. Is it open? All open. There's a one more level above us as well. Hold on to your butts. Oh shit, you enraged him. Ah! Ah! Killed that huge rhino, wow. No, no he... <clears throat> he's just fallen underneath the earth. Oh, look who's back. Looks like you're having a bit of trouble there. Go by a treehouse. Next base. According to the Boy Scout rule of friendly neighbors, one should not build on top of someone else. And because of that, Fat Can of Dip had to go. I've made you lots of earthenware jugs. With the warm-up raids behind them, Steven and Summer set off for a bigger challenge. Fetus Deletus. <gasps> um, excuse me. Could you please get out of my base? Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, I don't know, man. What do you reckon? That's why I'm asking you. I'm really happy that I've finally gotten my favorite dress. I appreciate yeah. the contribution, thank you. I'm not gonna do anything else. If you see someone, just say crikey. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, alright, looks like it's clear. Oh yeah, I always say crikey. This is gonna sound strange, but I think someone has run into that dungeon up there. Can you see? Steven has arrived. Am I supposed to follow you, or...? Are you trying to get away from me? The owner is City Boys up 10k. Mm, 10k. I wonder if that's in dollary dues though. Please don't kick me off. <laughs> I know that was bad. <laughs> the Savannah looks so cool right now. Wow. You look like a raptor in tall grass. A raptor? We'll build a little base around the backside. I can see under your skirt. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. You can. I, I think I can. <laughs> oh, finally to be back in the forest. Wow, that's okay. That's clever. Good job. Yeah, that's what Steven does. He finds rat holes. Yeah, you're a bit of a rat. What does that make you? <laughs> well, I'm just tagging along for the adventure, but yeah. Um, are we making a little base? All right, we're safe for a little bit. Would you like some honey? No, thank you. Would you like some roasted haunch? No, thank you. But thank you for asking. Maybe we just go for it? That's all we can do, isn't it? A voice calls out to them from the walls. Good eye, friend. We need to go right now. Poison arrows rain down from above. He said, good day, friend. Good eye, friend. No, he didn't. He didn't say that. Yeah. As if, why would he say that? He's not Australian. Where is this dude at? 
You can see just chilling up on the wall. I'm gonna climb this big rock and look in. While Steven and Summer regroup in the woods, it seems that Zilla is paying a visit to Monix and 4 is awkward. Zilla Unlimited Bombs? Admin? Yeah, call admin. I have you rebuilding on vid. Monix is getting raided by Zilla, I'm pretty sure. Green dead body in the base over there, see that? Oh yeah, you must have fallen from the elevator. Do you have any wood on you? You mean all that wood I got for you before, and you said you didn't want it? Is, Stand is that still. The Stand still real quick. I'm, I'm not standing still. I'll have to go and check and get some stuff. Gate just opened. Oh, shivers, really? Uh-oh, he, could... he might be coming for us. Alright. I don't think he sees us. Yeah, he sees us. That's the thrall. Don't give our location away. Oh, game over. Let's go. The situation at Fetus Deletus is too hot, so they gather their things at the rat cottage and make a trek over to Monix and Four's Awkward. I'm back at our shack. In the house? It's more like a cottage. Oh, sorry, I meant the cottage, yeah. This is our lakeside cottage. I just love how Monix, like, wiped our sandstone foundation for the second week in a row, and it, now he's just crying because he's getting raided. It's like poetry. Beautiful. Man, obvious abuse going on. Coolness. Yeah, I'm not sure how much shit you think an inventory can hold, but over 100 bombs have been placed here. Monix, this is cuz you always talk shit saying i'm a map room camper and shit you think i care laughing my butt off oh hey that's a big hole i swear to god you're just saying things there's a tiger chasing you I'm not afraid of tigers oh someone built a bridge what that's what we do not what they do i'm louder nice bridge but a bit narrow last time steven tried to help defend them against the raiders they then rejected his kindness and destroyed the rat sniper this time steven will not come to the rescue i don't care about the loot i just want to blow that horn and hit his gong. Sounds of explosions greet the rats as they arrive at Monix's castle. Oh my god. Oh, he's in the main tower already. I love it. Zilla's raid is in full swing, and the cult wants a piece of it. We need to stash our stuff. I'm just worried that if we build a little tier 3 hut and Zilla sees us coming in and out, he's just gonna blow in. That's the kind of guy Zilla is. Can you go back and grab all that wood that you dropped before? This is my first go at this game, and already the BS with Zilla is enough. Just same stupid shit all the time. These are the guys that talk so much shit because little naked me and you trapped them. I trapped them again, and then I shot them off a thing. And then I helped defend them against counter raiders, and I said, hey, I helped you guys. And they screamed at me and told me to get the fuck off their land. These are the same guys. It just came in. Wall. Wow. If I got in chat right now and said, Monix, do you need my help? He would lose his mind. I hate you, Zilla. I think it's wild how everything always goes sexual in this game. And then I turn around and you're not wearing any clothes. Excuse me, why are you saving desert berry bush seeds and insects? Fine. I don't even remember putting insects in there. Okay, let's do it. What are we doing? I just started streaming live. You're not a live streamer. I'm live streaming this right now, though. Let's go do it. Yep. They drop off their gear, raiding supplies, and plant seeds, and race over to join in on the action. Oh, I love this base so much. <gasps> I'm gonna take it out of principle, but I definitely don't need it. Let's go. Let's get in there. Let's see the destruction. Oh. Hey, Monix, your base is burning. I can't even select it. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Ooh. I just got his gear set. Thanks for the gear set once again, Tao. Much appreciated. Let's see if he blew in somewhere. Oh, look at that. There's actually holes in it. If that anti climb was in there, we could go in. Oh, wait, hold on. We could. Yeah, 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 here we can. You go first so I don't kill you. Thanks for being so thoughtful. They climb towards the hole in the wall. The sound of fighting intensifies as they draw near. Steven slips into the hole. It's a portal into the demise of Monix. The room looks less like a raid and more like a homicide. I just looted Monix's whole pit. Beautiful. I found him upstairs. He's got a gas mask on. Loot all these bodies. There's another one right here. It's Tao again. I got his gear set. They're up here. A naked white-haired man enters the room in a frenzy. He swings wildly. Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? Sorry. I should stop swearing. Monix. Steven equips a sword. Summer draws her bow. Hello, Monix. Uh-oh. Alright, I'll get my arrows out. Oh yes, we got Monix again, dude. I love it. Teaming illegal. Laughing my butt off. Zilla called us in for backup. I have a katana you can have. 
Gotta get up there. Monix, I'm here for you, brother. I don't want to get close to Zilla. Like, Zilla's just gonna fuck us up. As if on cue, an exile in purple armor enters the room. Zilla is here. Oh shit. Someone's here. You he can see us. I'm down. The entire collection of uh, guys are here. I can see Monix climbing back up. Are you still inside? No. Monix is ground level. He's sneaking around the side. Community service teaming with Zilla. Nice. Well, GG. He believes it. Monix has been bullying me all week now. There's a green throw down here. Yes, I saw him. Where are Why you? do they always look like Power Rangers? Steven and Monix stand face to face, both naked. Monix has been stripped of everything he holds dear. His high castle, his trebuchet, and his war drums. Welcome to the gutter, Monix. It's a rat's world down here. Keep hitting him. Monix flails about. He beats his fists angrily against Steven's rock-hard rat chest. It's a pitiful sight. Like a fatally wounded animal in its final moments, Steven needs to put it out of its misery. Hey brother, do you need some help with the counter raid? We can help defend you. Monix is hanging from a cliff by his fingertips. Steven reaches down and offers a hand. I'm always here for you, Monix. Whatever you need. Monix goes to sleep. Forever. Monix, are you sleeping, brother? He just logged off. He actually just logged off. Yeah. He was like, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. Fuck that. I'm dying inside. Ring guy. The cult will never see four is awkward again, but Steven still wants a base tour. Come around this way. I'm in. Easy peasy. How did this guy get in? Not from here. Hey, watch this. Yes. Dying? You died? I may or may not have died. I think this will look good on you. That looks like something a crocodile would wear. I actually feel like a crocodile. I don't know if this is me. I'm making the Australian wear the crocodile stuff. I take offense to that, yeah. Sorry, coming up the hill this way makes me a bit confused. I had to, um, get orientated. Is the word orientated or is it just oriented? Do you see any health bars? Because if he jumps out the window, like, I'm gonna freak out. Because he'll chase me for an hour to kill me. Really? It's like that, is it? You know it's like that. Don't act like you don't know. Oh, there's just so many people that hate you on this server. Oh yes, he left all my stuff. Oh my god, what a hero. <sighs> Let's just get to the roof and blow that horn and play the gong. Let's do it. Oh, there's more bodies. Another full kit from Tau 1 Insane. Oh, thanks, boys. There's another chest over there as well. Ooh, I found something you might like. A massive collection of dyes, even obnoxious green. Can we try something? On you, maybe. I'm going to drop my armor and then I'm going to keep looking around. And when I come back, I want to see the best combination ever. Alright, no man, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Maybe some midnight blue. You can have this. One, two, three, four, five. Is it better or worse? It's actually very nice. I'm really glad. Ooh, the roof is right here. Ooh. Here's a giant loot bag. It's got all the demon fire barrages in it. No! This is my tri base now. Where's the gong? I gotta find it. No, I think it's gone. I think the gong is gone. There's a Zillow body. <gasps> Look what I found. Listen. I can hear those drums. Oh wow. Was that you? Yeah. They still have a tower up here. I don't know if Zillow's been in it or not. Oh wow. Explosive arrows, oil arrows, poison arrows. Next boys. I love so much that the last thing that Monix saw before he rage quit, and the last thing he'll probably ever see on the server, because I doubt he comes back, 
was my face. Steven, I can't get on the ceiling. I just can't do it. Steven's tower now. You can't make that climb? Look up. Fuck, I can't do it. Please don't. Oh my god, there's an arrow in my head. Steven stands atop Monix's tower. For weeks, this clan relentlessly eliminated every structure he placed. But Steven didn't quit. And as the dust finally settles, the view from the top looks pretty damn good. Why is it so hard to harvest mushrooms? I know I can hit it. I know I can harvest it. I just did it earlier. You can pick it up for four. That's not even worth it. See, look at that. I just got 60 from it. That's so frustrating. Okay, there you go. Is there like a certain area you're supposed to aim? Okay, swinging above it. Is that the secret? Is that the secret? You gotta swing above it? That might be the secret. Never mind. I thought I figured it out, but I didn't. Do you need a truffle pig? Is that the only way to get these? How annoying is it when they are on a flat surface, but they won't go? Oh yeah. Sorry? What? Hello? The accent is a bit thick. It's hard to understand you. Um... I'm talking normally, thank you. Do you want to go blow into Echo's little pretend sleigh base, even though it's filled with stuff? Alright. I thought you were in his clan. I never actually joined his clan. I said, maybe later. I said, I promise Steven I'll help him farm and do some things. Still waiting on that farm, though. Excuse me, I have farmed. Isn't it wild how we're just like human beings and we're just like on this planet and then the sky like constantly changes like... In a fake game where we play as humans in a world where the sky constantly changes. Yeah, yeah.